Thanks for joining us. And today we're going to talk about what is Ujjayi breath and why you should do it. So Ujjayi breath, also called the victory breath, is something that if you've ever been in a yoga class, you've probably had to learn how to do. And if you've ever been uh, doing some yoga practices, uh, doing some yoga poses as the teacher uh, is instructing you, and it's really tough, say you're doing downward dog or, or you're doing cobra or something, and the teacher says, keep breathing, keep breathing, and then they want you to uh, do Ujjayi breath. And what Ujjayi breath is, is a constriction of our epiglottis. And we use this uh, constriction of the epiglottis to slow down the breathing. So we're gonna take a longer in-breath and a longer out-breath when we're doing Ujjayi breathing. Uh, and so why would you do this Ujjayi breath? If you're doing those strenuous yoga poses and you use Ujjayi breath, you're helping to ground yourself in your breath. Similarly, when you want to be grounded in any situation, Ujjayi breath is a really handy and easy thing to do. Ujjayi breath isn't as strenuous as some people let on. So some people have called it Darth Vader breath, uh, you know, which sounds actually like a breath mint uh, or uh, some kind of mouthwash. But actually Ujjayi breath is just a slight constriction of your epiglottis. The good news is you already know how to constrict your epiglottis and you do this when you whisper. So when I whisper like this, I'm constricting my epiglottis. So you already know how to do Ujjayi breathing, at least on the exhale. So one of the things you can do to practice Ujjayi breath and get the feel of it, whisper as you're exhaling, just like this, and then whisper as you're inhaling, just like this. And by doing that, you're using Ujjayi breath, both on the inhale and the exhale. So if I was to make the sound of Ujjayi breath with my mouth open, it would sound like this. If I close my mouth and breathe through my nose, which is a more natural breathing, it would be sounding like this. So if you're in any kind of situation where you just want to be grounded in your breathing, you can just easily do Ujjayi breath through your nose and nobody will know the difference. And it really helps you to connect yourself to your body and to being in the present moment, which is great in every situation. Because sometimes we go off on tangents with our thoughts and that kind of thing, or sometimes we may be feeling a particular emotion, uh, which is kind of um, throwing us out of balance. So then we can just focus internally, um, you know, close our mouth, put our tongue to our palate, and begin by doing the Ujjayi breath. Now, Ujjayi breath is particularly helpful in yoga meditation because it allows us to elongate our breath. And as uh, I've said many times before, with heart rate variability resonance breathing, we, have, we are breathing at under seven breaths per minute um, and we are doing a extended out breath. It's really, we're slowing down our out breath. So that extended exhalation or that slower exhalation than the inhalation helps to bring us into a meditative state, uh, also called pratyahara in yoga or the freeze response or the galvanic skin response and what this does is it helps to bring our attention inwards when we're doing meditation and so we don't need to be doing meditation proper uh, or to be you know in a, have a meditation practice to benefit from using ujjayi breathing um, we can do it in every situation and so if we just want to have a little breathe uh, if we just want to have a little break from where we are if we want to just have a little break from what we're doing in any particular situation we can just sit quietly and focus on our breath. And then as we're breathing, we can practice the Ujjayi breathing. We can further bring ourselves into a state of calmness by practicing heart rate variability resonance breathing. So that means that we're breathing at under seven breaths per minute. We are taking out the pauses between our breaths. We're sitting very still and we are making our out breath slower than our in breath. So we do that while we're doing Ujjayi breathing. And that will help to bring us into the present moment, make us feel very calm and very connected and aware. So I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions or anything about it, feel free to send me an email at info at modernkriya.com. Also, you can check our website at modernkriya.com. We have a YouTube channel under that name, Facebook page, Twitter feed, and Instagram. 
So thanks for joining us and we will see you next time.